Louis told me that he'd found a real remote valley, and when Louis says remote, I, I knew he meant remote. Louis knew this was an area where there were lots of bulls that hadn't been disturbed at all. Nobody had been in there this year. And as soon as we got there, the music started. I'm telling you, it was one of the most incredible sights that I've ever seen in my hunting career. David Morris is reuniting with veteran White Mountain guide Louis Zospa, who brings a lifetime of experience chasing big buglers in this Arizona wilderness. Author and publisher Morris is president of Tecomati Wildlife Systems. He's a whitetail expert but that doesn't lessen his love for monster bull elk. We're here on the White Mountain Apache Indian Reservation, perhaps the very best place in the world for lots of big elk, and I'm very excited. I was here three years ago, had a great hunt, but I didn't shoot. I saw a lot of bulls that were broken. I was hunting with the same guy then I'm going to be hunting with now, Louis Zaltzpa, great guy, great guide. The White Mountain Apache Reservation covers over a million and a half acres of pristine wilderness. For nearly a quarter century, White Mountain has intensively managed its elk herd and has guided hunters to more than 100 record book bulls. There were bulls fighting, chasing. There were some cows there. There was a water hole. They were out in the middle of the water cooling off. That's a good one right there, right there. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good bull. Seven by seven. Yeah. And there's some more coming down that draw. My goodness. About 280. 280. Yeah. 280. Yeah. We can take him from here if he's a shooter. I tell you what, I'm going to get set up in case we decide to shoot him. You take a good look, be sure nothing's broken. I'm not going to shoot him unless you say, but I'm going to get set up. Yeah, I do too. I don't think he's quite heavy no. enough. Yeah, no. Yeah. That's a heck of a ball, though. Yeah. 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 He was a real nice six point, but he was spindly. He was thin, a real young bull. And next year, maybe a couple of years, he, he's going to be the monster, they say. I hope I don't have to regret that. And they were just bugling nonstop. There wasn't a minute went by that there wasn't bugling. And of course, other elk in other areas were hearing that, and they were working their way into that area. And one of them almost walked into us. After the, the elk began to fill her back in the hills around that water hole, we moved and started looking around. We could hear a few elk bugling off in the distance here and there, nothing really concentrated. We began to look around to see the, just the vista, the panoramic view that is the White Mountain Indian Reservation. What a treat that was. It was a worthy start to our White Mountain hunt. I love big mature animals and I like the biggest of the species. I have come to the place where elk get as big as they get right here on White Mountain. I am excited about being here. It's a privilege to be here. This is a very special treat for any hunter. You've got a waiting list to get on this place. 
and I intend to make good on my opportunity this time. Hunter David Morris has seen more trophy bulls in the last two days than a hundred hunters might see in a lifetime. But that's the way it is on the White Mountain Apache Reservation. A quarter century of careful hunting and intensive management has produced what is unquestionably the best elk hunting opportunity in the country. But as we began to move down the hill toward that water hole, we, we heard an elk right in front of us bugle. And as we moved closer to him, we realized that thing is coming to us. Yeah, he's coming this way, Lloyd. He's coming up this way. Yeah, he's coming up the ridge. He sounds pretty good too, deep throated. He's just beyond this opening, I think. Yeah, he's, he's so on that ridge there, isn't he? Up in there, yeah. See where that trees are at. See where the dead tree. Yeah. Where the dead tree. There he is along the space. Well, that is a big bull. Well, I don't know. I think he's gonna. That's I mean, he's a big bull. Huh? Seven by seven. Yeah. Is he a shooter? Oh, he's a big see. Bull. oh man, he went behind the tree. Let's get a better look. He might go across over here. Get ready. Okay. okay, he's gonna go. Go. He looks good. Boy, he looks good. Okay. Look at that there one. There he is. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Man. It's a big bull. It's a monster. That is a monster, Lloyd. It's a big bull. That's a big bull. You tell me, Lloyd. What do you think? Oh, it's a second day, Dave, Dave, but I don't know if we're going to be able to. Yeah, but Lloyd, that thing's huge. Yeah. Oh, man. You remember last year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Lloyd. Oh, boy, this is a big, big bull. bull. It's a big bull. I can take him now. What do you think? Oh, man. Can you see everything, Lloyd? Is he broke? Yeah, wait, wait, wait. The left. The left has a point that comes out like it's on offense. That's water. not that much. No, no. My okay. goodness, Louie, I hate the mine on the oh, second I day, but second. good boy, Dave. Well, that's a big ball. What do you think, Louie? Man, that's still the second day. We might be able to do better. Oh no. Man, I hope we don't have to regret that. That is a big ball, Louie. He's monstrous. Look, he's gonna come out up here. Let's go up there. Let's take another look. And I said, Louie, look, I went home last time without a bull, and we passed up one that we should have shot. This bull I'll be happy with. He is a giant. Let's go after him. If we catch up with him, I want you to take a good look at him, and then I want you to give me the green light or not. Let's make a decision if we can get back on him. Louie must be over there. Yeah, he's right up there somewhere. I don't see him. Louie, listen. If we see him, I'm gonna go ahead and make a move on him and, and get ready for the shot. And what I want you to do is get a good look at him before I shoot. If you think he's over 380 and we're separated, you give me the thumbs up. If he's not, give me the thumbs down, I'm not gonna shoot, okay? Let's go off this hill. Get ready for the shot and remember, thumbs up, thumbs down on 380. There was two trees out there, two cedar trees. One was kind of burned and I didn't want to try it. The other one was a good full cedar tree. That's what I used for cover to get up to this bull. I've got him, and I'm wanting to shoot him. I know he's big, but I do want Louie's blessing, because Louie knows what's here. I don't. Okay, I'm taking him. Okay. Oh, he's 
Thank you, good Lord in heaven above. Louis, come on. You got to see this thing, Louis. Come on. Come on. This is a monster, Louis. He's a monster. We shot him, and it was the right decision. He is a monster. A monster seven by seven. Tremendous bull. Thank you, Louis. There, Thank you. Look at this. Look at the mass. Look at the mass. And the beam leg, Louis. Yeah. Great yeah. points. From here to here. He's kind of unbelievable. Tremendous length. Tremendous. And these brow tines look like the dang points on a root rake behind a bulldozer. Look at this. I think you could plow ground with us. My goodness. And I could not be happier. And Louis was happy too. Louis knew we needed to shoot him, but he also knew there are some out there bigger. And, you know, if we'd have hunted for another week, we might have seen another four or five days, we might have seen a bigger. But I might have also gone home without one, and I knew this bull was a bull I would be happy with. This is truly a monster, a monster bull. Look at this. 